Hello, everyone. This is Catherine Cook, professor of voice at the San Francisco Conservatory of Music. Welcome to our voice department, Tiny Dorm Concert. We recently lost a dear member of the conservatory family, Doug Norby, and would like to dedicate tonight's performance to his memory. Along with his wife, Susan, Doug was a steadfast supporter of SFCM and the whole Bay Area arts community. I know that his spirit will live on through the many institutions that he championed. And while we wait to celebrate his life in person, we thought it was appropriate to remember him through this new medium, an innovation that I'm sure Doug would have enjoyed. To Susan, to all of his friends and family, I send my condolences on behalf of the entire conservatory family. Thank you and enjoy the concert. Thank you so much, Kathy, for that sweet message. We will keep Doug and Susan in our thoughts this evening. Hi, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us tonight for our voice night in the Tiny Dorm Concert Series. My name is Taylor C. I am a soprano and an undergraduate senior voice major at SFCM. I am coming to you live from fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, and I am so excited to be your MC as well as sing for you later this evening. We have been putting on our Tiny Dorm live performance concert since April 11th, featuring the entire SFCM community of students, faculty, the pre-college program, and alumni. We are so glad that you're all here, and I encourage you to interact with us by leaving comments in the YouTube chat section. Tell us where you're watching from and cheer on these wonderful performers. We would like to give a shout out to all the graduating students and wish them all the best in their upcoming adventures. Alumni voice students from SFCM have consistently gone on to participate in competitive young artists programs at the San Francisco Opera, such as the Marola Opera Program and the Adler Fellowship Program. These alumni include Natalie Image, Esther Tonia, Julie Adams, and Efrain Solis, to name a few. Our partner, Harry Winston, has helped make the Tiny Dorm concerts possible, and we are so thankful for their support and long-standing commitment to SFCM. Now, our program for tonight features a wide variety of music, from Mozart, Schumann, Richard Strauss, and many more. Our performers range from undergraduate freshmen to postgraduate students. But before we begin with the music, we have a very special guest with us this evening, world-renowned mezzo-soprano Frederica von Stad, and more commonly known to us as Flicka. Hi, Flicka. Hi, Taylor. Hi. I'm glad to see you. <laughs> oh, it's so good to I'm see you glad too. To see you. Thank yeah, you so much for being here with us this evening. You all are doing a wonderful job of making this work. I really admire you all. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Thank you. We are so fortunate to have you here as one of our distinguished coaches at our school. And all of the students here at SFCM get to work privately with Flicka for coachings and her advice and wisdom are so invaluable to us. Good news. Good news. <laughs> Is it okay if I ask you a few questions? Sure. Go for it. Awesome. So we're currently going through a time of shelter in place. In your career, when you had to be alone a lot during performances, how were you able to stay focused and productive? Um, I think the part of being alone is part of being an artist and being a performer. You're always gonna have to deal with it. And as you know, Taylor, and all the kids today who are gonna sing, we are students for the rest of our lives. So right. I don't think there's a moment that we, you don't have a piece of music in your hand. And even at my age, you're trying to learn it. So that, <laughs> yep, that always fills learning. the time. That fills the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, but I, know. I, really, I really feel for the kids because I'm, I'm disappointed not to, to see the graduates walk, and I've been very right. disappointed not to see their final performances because you all have worked so hard, really. I know, it's so sad when we found out the email we were about to go on for our Baroque Opera Otone. And yeah. like two days before it was canceled, it was just, you know, but I'm so happy we were able to put on these concerts to at least share our music and- Oh yeah, and they were, and they're great. And they really mm -hmm. are, they, they have heart in them and that's all that counts. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
How about what was your most profound performing experience? I think actually the most profound was singing the mother in Dead Man Walking. I hate to say it, but it's 20 years ago at the San Francisco wow. Opera when Jake's opera premiered. It just, wow. the whole experience was, it just meant so much to me as a mother, as an artist, as being a fan of Jake's and Terrence mm -hmm. McNally. I mean, are Terrence one of the most beloved playwrights in the world? Um, so I think that was probably it. That's amazing. That yeah. was your favorite role of probably favorite, your whole career? It really was because it wow. just, it was kind of like a rap for me. You know, I love yeah. Terabino, but you know, oh, yeah. I, I'm saying Terabino way beyond the age of decency. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> um, what do you think makes SFCM such a special place for both the students and the faculty? You know, I, I work with a, a group here in, in Berkeley called YMCO, Young Musicians oh. Choral Orchestra. And we have the head of the company is an incredible woman named Daisy Newman. And I just never forget when I decided to join the board for seeing that kids deserve the best. And they deserve the best instruments and they deserve the best teachers because that's the way they are gonna be able to hone their craft. And whether mm -hmm. they actually end up being performers almost doesn't matter. It's the process and the process is magic. And I think my year at the conservatory, I have just been over, just overwhelmed with appreciation for the the vocal faculty. It's just one of the best faculties I've ever heard. And there, everybody's everybody's on your team. And I think that's mm -hmm. what I love the most about the conservatory is we really all want you to do well, and we want you to have the joy and the specialness of, that we've had in our careers. You know, Definitely. and you're headed. Taylor, you're headed that way, girl. Oh, thank you. <laughs> We're so lucky to have you at SFCM. It's amazing. Thank you. Um, what do you What do you enjoy most about teaching? You all, just you all. <laughs> I just, um, you know, you're sort of the age of somewhere between my daughters and my granddaughters, and oh, yeah. so I get to, you know, kind of be with kids that are very relevant to me, and mm. I love. I love seeing your passion. I really do. And you are all passionate. You know, you, it takes so much courage to be a singer. And it takes, I admire so many of the, you know, the Asian singers who have come over here and learned English, which is impossible, I know. and learned oh French God. and learned Italian and German. Mm -hmm. And I just, um, I just, I love seeing the first day you sing in Aria and then last day, you know, when you perform it, it's, it's, a, it's very magic for me. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. And lastly, what advice do you have for all the young <laughs> singers during this challenging time? Don't give up, okay? Do not give up. And if you can, sing anywhere. You know, if you, um, I mean, I think eventually it won't happen now, but there'll be lots of informal opportunities to sing. Just right. do it. Keep the voice going, keep your spirit going. This, I think in the end, we are going to be reminded of all the great things about music that have given us so much joy. And yeah. we have now had the time to put this in our heads and hearts and let it sit there. And I think that's just keep saying, all right? That's the main thing. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I think yeah. you all are marvelous and I love you all. Oh, thank you. Well, we love you too. And we are so, so lucky to have you on the faculty at SFCM. <laughs> Thanks, honey. Thank you so much. Good to yeah, see you. Good to hear everybody. Bless you. <laughs> thank you. You too. Well, let's get this music started. First, we are joined live from San Francisco, California to hear tenor and second year master Chris Wall. Hey, Chris. Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Awesome. Can't wait to hear you. Yes. So today I will away. be singing the first three numbers from Schumann's Dichterliebe. 
Um, and I thank Luis Costigan Kearns for my accompaniment. <laughs> Ich lieb sie nicht mehr, ich lieb alleine, die Kleine, die Feine, die Reine, die Heine, sie selber alle liebe Mond, ist Rosa und Lilie und Tau und Sonne. Ich lieb alleine, die Kleine, die Feine, die Reine, die Heine, die Heine. Thank you, Chris. That was beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> so good to hear you and see you. As voice students at SFCM, we get weekly one-on-one -on -one coachings in addition to our private lessons. Access to rehearsals and performances to the San Francisco Opera, acting, diction, and professional development courses unparalleled at any other institutions, and performance opportunities and professional engagements within the San Francisco Bay Area. Our next singer, Keaton Brown, is a baritone and an undergraduate junior, and he studied in Menser. Hey, Keaton. Hi, Taylor. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Good. Good to see you, too. Hey, can you tell us a little bit about the opportunities you've had on stage at SFCM? Yes, I've been very fortunate to have some incredible opportunities that have been really different from one another. This past year, I got to perform in the Fall Opera in Mozart's The Impresario. I um, mean, it was so useful because it was so much just acting work I got to do and work with dialogue and working with a character. So really applying a lot of acting skills. Uh, before the shutdown, I was supposed to be in De Flittermouse and we were working a lot on physical comedy and pantomiming. I've also gotten to do some musical theater work. Uh, the Fantastics and Three Penny Opera, as well as a fun winter term project a few years ago. We put together Hansel and Gretel in about five days. It was a whirlwind wow. process. So lots of different experiences. <laughs> That's awesome. Fun. Well, Keaton is a great performer and singer, so you're going to enjoy him tonight. <laughs> Take it away. Thank you. So this is Bella si come un angelo from Don Pasquale by Don Itzepti. <laughs> Bella si come un angelo in terra pellegrino fresca si come il giglio che s'apre sul mattino o 
occhio che parla e ride, sguardo che cor con cui ne ha, chioma che vince le mano, sorriso incantator, sorriso incantator. Innocente ingenua, che sei medesma ignora, modesta impareggiabile, bontà che vi innamora, ai miseri pietosa gentil, Dolce amorosa, il cielo ha fatto nascere per far beato un cor, beato un cor. Il cielo ha fatto nascere per far beato un cor, per far beato un cor. Il ciel ha fatta nascere per far beato, beato, per far beato. Thank you so much, Keaton. That was Thank wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, that cadenza at the end, like having to do that with a recording is so, <laughs> so different, but that was wonderful. It's amazing. Yeah, thank you. It's <laughs> awesome. Keaton's one of my roommates back in San Francisco and I miss him. <laughs> I miss you. Aw. Good to see you. Good to see you. Now we are joined live from Cincinnati, Ohio to hear soprano and first year master Mackenzie Jackman. Hey, Mackenzie. Hi, Taylor. How are you? Hi. Good. Good. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Have fun. Thanks. <laughs> we will be performing Achich Fuse from Mozart's Die Zauberflute. Oh, <laughs> 
Thank you, Mackenzie. Oh, that was so touching and so beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you so much to your live accompanist, Elena Kolodova. Yes. That's amazing. Thank you, guys. Hello. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Next, we're joined live from Burlington, Ontario, Canada, to hear soprano and first year master Olivia Morton. Hey, Olivia. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Awesome. Can't wait to hear you sing. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Today, I will be singing um, Ich Wot ein Straußlein binden by Richard Strauss. Thank you, Olivia. Wow, that was wonderful. So yeah, of course. <laughs> now we're going back to San Francisco to join mezzo soprano and second year master Virginia Reed. Hey, Virginia. Hi, Taylor. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm very well. It's so good to see you. I really miss performing with you. I know. Me too. I can't wait to hear you. It's going to be wonderful. <laughs> yeah. I'm Virginia Reed. I will be singing Ich bin der Welt abhanden gekommen from Rooked Lieder by Gustav Mahler. And a very, very big thank you to my fantastic coach, Stephen Bailey, for recording this accompaniment for me ahead of time.
Thank you, Virginia. That was so beautiful. Thank you, Taylor. Virginia was the um, Carabino to my Contessa last spring in Le Nozze di Figaro, and I'm going to miss her so much next year. So next, we are joined live from Beaumont, California, to hear baritone and undergraduate freshman Julio Martinez. Hey, Julio. Hey, Taylor. How are you? Hi. Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Awesome. Can't wait to hear you. Thank you. So today I will be performing Eternally from Limelight by Charlie Chaplin. So 
sun will shine when you were mine and mine alone. I be loving you eternally. There'll be no one new, my dear, for me. The sky shall fall, remember I shall always be forever true and loving you eternally. I be loving you eternally. That's true eternally. From the start within my heart, it seems I've always known the sun will shine when you were mine and mine alone. I'll be loving you eternally. Yeah, for me. Though the sky shall fall, remember I shall always be forever true and loving you eternally. Thank you so much, Julio. Thank you, Taylor. I absolutely love that genre of music, and you sang that piece so beautifully. Thank you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so next, we are heading across the world to join soprano and undergraduate freshman Phoebe Chi in Singapore. Hey, Phoebe. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Here. I know. What time is it now? Um, it's eight. Oh my gosh! And Phoebe was on our sound check. Uh, this afternoon, my time at 3 a.m. her time. Yeah. So, yeah. thank you for doing this. <laughs> Take it away. Great. Great. Oh, so sorry. Hey, Julio, can you mute yourself? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, take it away, Phoebe. Thank you. Um, I will be singing A Chloris by Renato Hahn. Si le vrai, 
Thank you so much, Vivi. That was wonderful. And thank you for being up at 3 a.m. <laughs> awesome. See you. So now um, we are heading back to the States to San Antonio, Texas to join mezzo soprano and first year master Alexander Sanchez. Hey, Zan. Hey, Taylor. Good hey. To see you. Good to see you too. <laughs> Can't wait to hear you. Well, I will be singing A Bay by Chausson from Sept Melodie. Gonna turn the volume up one second. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Zan. That was so beautiful. Thanks, Taylor. Thank you. So good to hear you. <laughs> See you later. See you. One of the perks that voice students here at SFCM have are annual opportunities to work with renowned vocal coaches such as Martin Katz, in addition to master vocal coaches at the San Francisco Opera. Our next singer, soprano and postgraduate student, Courtney McPhail, got to work with Martin. Hey, Courtney. Hi, Taylor. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. Could you tell us um, a little bit about your experience with Martin Katz? Sure, I'd love to. Um, awesome. So about a year and a half ago, I got to participate in Martin Katz's residency here at SFCM. And it was probably one of the best experiences that I've had during my time here. Um, and what's, what's so wonderful about his residency in particular is that we're lucky enough to have him here for a full week. And so those selected get to have one-on-one -on -one coachings with him throughout that week. And then it culminates with a public masterclass, which is always fun. That's so awesome. Well, I can't wait to hear you sing. It's going to be wonderful. I will be singing Presentation of the Rose from Der Rosen Cavalier by Strauss. Yeah. 
ich bin. Euer Liebten sei verbunden. Ich bin euer Liebten in aller Ewigkeit verbunden.
Thank you, Courtney. You sing that so beautifully. Thank you. Of Thank course. you. Good to see you. So now I would like to sing for you Meine Lippen sie küssen so heiß from Judita by Franz Lehar. And I'd like to thank my accompanist, Alex Katzman, for this recording. That's a wrap for tonight. Once again, I'd like to thank all of you for joining us this evening and supporting each and every one of our performers. 
Thank you again to Harry Winston for their partnership and support to all of us in order to do these wonderful Tiny Dorm concerts. If you like what you've heard, please share this online, invite friends to watch with you tomorrow, follow SFCM on social media, and consider making a gift to support the students working so hard during this time. Please join us tomorrow night for the Cello Tiny Dorm concert at 5 p.m. and visit the performance calendar at sfcm.edu to see the full schedule. Now, please welcome back all of our wonderful performers for a final wave and goodbye. Yay! <laughs> oh, kitties! <laughs> <laughs>